Hi everybody, how are you? Grab them if you got them. This is my second one. Give me one minute. I finished off the other one. Look how old this thing is. It is old as hell. Forgive the teeth. There's no teeth. Next Tuesday on the 5th, I have to get my teeth realigned because I've lost so much weight. I still have 15 pounds to go to reach the 100 pound mark for weight loss and I was hoping I would get to that before I needed my teeth realigned but I took my hubby out his birthday was the 24th and I took him to um, Red Robin and I put and I had my teeth in and they're so big now that they're actually hurting they're actually hurting the inside of my gums they're just too big and no amount of adhesive is helping them at all so Next Tuesday, I go and have them realigned so that they will fit my mouth. Like I said, I was hoping to get to the 100-pound mark, but I'm still those last 15 pounds. And it's my fault. I know it's my fault. I'm not eating perfect. I'm not going to say I am. I mean, the first time, if you all remember, when I lost the weight, 2018, 2017, something like that. I mean, it was coming off like this because I wouldn't touch one ounce of sugar. I wouldn't touch one carb. I'm more lackadaisy with it this time, and I don't know why. I'm losing inches. I'm losing a lot of inches. But I got that last 15 pounds that I want gone before the end of December, and I'm damn and determined it's going to happen. But along the way, I was a little lazy, too. My brother, my older brother, who I consider a father figure to me, since my father's been gone for 51 years, my daddy, can you, oh, you can't see him. He's over there. His picture's over there. Um, makes homemade fruit cakes during the holidays. That son of a bitch brought one over here. If you're watching this, I love you. Me and Steve can't stand fruitcake, but we will eat my brother's fruitcake. He, he makes it in a bun pan. Oh, I'm not even going to tell you. I don't want to talk about it, but you know. He also made homemade bacon. He makes homemade bacon. Oh, Lord. Bacon's not bad for me. I made... um. I have a soup going on right now, and I used the rest of the bacon that my brother brought, the rest of the bacon that was left. Um, I got some ham in there, but mostly it's vegetables and some rice. Now, I know that's not low-carb, but it is healthy. It's, it's got all healthy stuff in it. You know, even the rice is healthy if you don't go crazy with it. It's, it's healthy, so I've got that, and that's what we're going to have for dinner. Um, I still got that 15 pounds. I, I work out every day. I do my chair exercises. I'm walking more. I'm still not there yet to not need the wheelchair. Um, I don't know if you all have seen Rain. Rain is my brand new wheelchair, and I love her. I travel with her everywhere, but I use Lilith still. I, I, could, I can't. Nobody wants her. Nobody will. You cannot. There's no place that I can gift her. Oh, she's too old. She's too broken. Da, 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 da. Nobody wants her. So I use her for the house. I use her for cleaning, for, for you know, vacuuming, sweeping, mopping floors, doing all that stuff, dusting. I, I use her for that. Instead of using my new wheelchair so I can use my new wheelchair for the things I want to use it for, like traveling all over the place because I, I go off of that chair. That is not what this video is for, though. I'm just throwing out that stuff. I want to show you what I got at Savers. We we went to Manchester for something. What the hell did we go to Manchester for? I forget, but we went to Manchester. And we went to the Manchester Savers because they have a lot more than the one in Newington. I love the Newington one. Go there all the time, but... And I really kind of hit the mother load there. Um, I could have found more witchy books, but it was Sunday. My husband is a Steelers fan. And though he told me, he honestly told me, babe, take your time. 
If it takes an hour, I don't care. However long it takes you, this is your time at Savers. Do what you do. But I knew that his game was on. And I know he is a huge Steelers fan. So, you know, this is a marriage compromise after 24 years. I'm like, let me get in, see what I need to get, see what I want, and get out. So that's what I did. I found some cool books. One of them is this. The Ultimate Guide to the Rider Weight Tarot. It is heavy pages. It is glossy pages. I'm doing a course right now on, um, oh, Udemy. U-D-E-M-Y. And it's by Sal Jade, S-A-L. That's her first name. J-A-D-E is her second name. I am doing a tarot course with her. Uh, uh, an online course because I'm not that proficient in tarot. I mean, I know a lot about tarot, but I don't know like the major meanings and stuff. I usually go by intuition and that's fine, but I want to know tarot. I found this book. And I'm doing the classes. It's funny because I found this book as I'm doing the classes. So I grabbed this. And I have. Now this didn't come from Savers. I have my little tarot box right here. This was a Savers item got a few years back. But this is where I keep my Rider Waite deck. That I'm using for the classes right now got its first little card there and then it's got the other cards and I try to go through intuition of what the cards mean but I want to get a sense of what the meanings are of the cards so so now on top of the classes I have this book and of course got my right away deck I think I think we all do I think most of us in the magical community have a right away deck and I'm really lucky that I got that one at a good price. And I have this. It is tarot and the way of mindfulness. Use the cards to find peace and balance by Joanne Feiberg and Evelyn Berger. Evelyn Berger. Same people. Same people that did this book. And again, glossy pages. And it kind of gives you what I kind of do, which is using my intuition to do the, the deck. But now I want to really get into, I have my book here, my little notebook and stuff that I write down for my, for my cards, doing the class. Love the class. So I have these two books that I'm keeping with me because, like I said, they're helping with the class. And what are my goals? It's one of my goals to proficiently learn the witch's alphabet. Proficiently do it. I know it, but sometimes I forget how some of the letters go. So I want to proficiently learn, you know, you can say this no teeth, to learn the witch's alphabet and to know the Rider Waite tarot. Know the tarot. Know it the way it's meant to be taught. So these came at a perfect time. That is like one of my goals that I want to do. This Witch's Almanac is 2010, the spring of 2010 to spring of 2011. And I understand it's old. I get it. But there's a lot of good information in here. They have Sibylik wedding ceremonies, um, Mary meetings, a Susie who I do not know, but I... Um, trees, garlic makes it good, but using garlic for um, your workings, hell broth. I mean, there's just all kinds of things in here that you don't need just for 2010 to 2011. It's got a lot of good information, so I got this. And I want to say, I want to tell you, these books were $2.99 each. And they go for $20. The U.S. price on these are $20 each. Got them for, got them for three. Two or three. This one was $1.99 because it's older. 
Then I got this one, Auras and Chakras. Again, nice heavy book, built really well. It says Harnessing the Energy Within by Fiona Toy. So I found this book as well. I'm sure there were more books there. There was a lot of, you know, it's usually good to go to um, one more thing I did get. I got this, and this was $4, and I want to tell you why. Just like I got this one at Savers. Uh, I got that one, got a few months ago. You can find, I mean, at Savers, you can always find um, candle holders. You know, I have MS, in case you didn't know. Taper. For taper candles. You can always find the candle holders, but it's really hard to find the pewter or the metal candle holders. And when you do find them, they're usually really expensive. That one I think I paid seven dollars for, if I wasn't mistaken. And my husband made me get it. This one I paid for. So this one was four. So whenever I find them in their metal you know, pewter, I don't know if this is pewter or metal. I'm not sure. I know it's not silver. But either way, I try to snag them because, because they they cost a lot of money. And even at Savers. Gotta watch Savers though because I want to tell you why. Now my daughter works for Dollar Tree and I know what her Dollar Tree candles look like. I have a whole bunch of them. I was using this for I this candle I've been using for creativity and to um, boost my magical properties, my magical creativeness, my coloring creativeness, my you know my painting creativeness. I've been using this candle. I can't leave it on full term, just like with the tea lights, because we have two kitties that roam the entire house up on tables and everything so when i need to tap into my creativeness i come back to this candle i do reuse candles but i reuse them for the purpose that i started them this is my candle for creativity so i'm going to be using this candle because i have been struggling let me show you Let me get this out. Give me one moment, people. I don't know. Good, you can see it. I have this picture. I am in love with this picture. I made several copies of it on stock paper. It's on, it's on strong paper. Because I am bound and determined I am going to color that picture and frame it. My problem is, is I'm too critical of my own work. I love to do adult coloring. I love to color. I love to see all of it come together in the picture, come to life. But I'm so critical. I'm so critical. I have my Prisma colors, and I've come up with a bunch of colors for her hair. It's mainly her hair that I'm having the issue with what colors I want. I do have a... Let me come back here, and I will show you. I have my huge color wheel. And I have this from Coloring Bliss. It's called a Quick Color Picker. And what it does is, I'm just going to open it for a couple of them. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. It gives you color ideas for different colors, like blue, violet. Okay, it gives you different scenarios for the colors that you can use. Coloring Bliss is, um, there's a group on Facebook. They have a YouTube channel. And they also have their own web page. I absolutely love that group. I love the products that they have. It's run by a husband and wife team, and they're amazing. Jennifer Stay and her husband, Steve. 
But even with that, I'm having trouble with this picture. And it's one of those pictures where I'm damned and determined. I'm going to do this picture and I'm going to frame it. But the colors, I want the colors to be perfect. And you know how it is. You, nothing's ever perfect, but I want them to be perfect. So I am working on that. That is something I want to do. I want to get it done before the end of the year because it's one of those little projects that I want to finish. I have certain things, like I said, I want to get to 250 before the end of the year. That will make it 100 pounds gone. Last month made it a year that I was on this journey from last November. So I have, I made 85 pounds, but I haven't made 100 yet, which I am working on. You know, I'm working on it slower than normal, but I'm getting it done. But even after I get the 250 at the end of the year, I'm not done. I'm still going to keep wanting to, you know, to lose weight. But it's just it's that goal. When you set goals, I think that's the problem that's happening with me. I set a goal and I'm trying, I'm so nervous that I'm not going to meet it, that maybe I'm trying not to meet it. Does that make sense? People done that before. It's like you want so bad for this to happen and then you do things to make it not happen because you're so sure it's not going to. I don't know if that made sense, but you know, anyways. So that was my little savers haul. That, uh, that's my picture that I'm working on, that I'm going to be working on. And I'm going to be doing my tarot. I cannot wait to use these books in correspondence with the class that I'm doing. So um, if you go on Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y, they have a lot of really cheap classes with amazing instructors. For everything, for anything that you're looking for. I have several, several certificates through Udemy of classes that I really love. I also have a colored pencil course that after I get done with the tarot, I'm going to be doing that too. I'm 58 years old. I don't have to learn. There's nothing I need to prove to anybody that I can do this. I'm doing this for me. And I think anything that you do, you should do for you. I'm losing this weight for me because, you know, my beautiful, beautiful Cheryl Coyote, if you go on, on her channel on, on YouTube, she is on the same journey as me and she's doing amazing. And she hit it right. The energy that you get what as you're losing this weight, the energy and the things that you can do more of, I can walk more, though I still need my chair. I mean, I still need my chair for some things. But, you know, she kind of sits there. But I can walk more. I can move more. I have more energy. Um, I was on a anti-fatigue medicine. I'm no longer on it. Don't need it. Do I still get tired? Oh, yeah. I overtire myself between the workouts, cleaning the house, cooking dinner, you know, I still got MS, it doesn't change, you know, trying to walk from one end of the street to the other, whatever, I get exhausted. So I still take my little naps here and there, but it's nothing like it was. Nothing like it was. Is that door opening or is that just me? No, it's just me. I'm having weird stuff happening. Not that I think there's a poltergeist or anything in the house, just the house is old. So the doors creak and they open up on their own and stupid shit like that. But anyways, I hope if you celebrated Thanksgiving that it was amazing. I celebrate family. I've talked about this before. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't believe in Thanksgiving. I think Christopher Columbus was the biggest asshole that ever lived the face of Europe. You know, I will never celebrate his day. Never going to happen. But I celebrate family. Because there is family, you know, my family does do Thanksgiving, so I don't want to be one of those people, well, I'm not going. No, I'm going for family, so I celebrate family. So I hope your family day was absolutely beautiful, too. I hope it was with friends, family, people you love. And that's about all. That's about all I wanted to say. My, everybody's at work except me because, you know, MS, SVT, you know, the diseases. Of, oh, that's another thing. Oh, huh? yeah. One more thing. 
I have been I have been freezing lately. I've got the fan on now because I've hit one of those menopause hot spots. But lately at night, when when I get fatigued, when I get really fatigued, I freeze to death. Well, my doctor seems to think it's something with my thyroid. I'm like, just add on another one. Just add on another disease. Go ahead. I'm going to be a Merck manual by the time this life is over. And it's okay. It's all right. Whatever. I love all of you. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I have been trying to do some grave visiting. I have some vi graves I want to visit, but it's been so cold. If I can get to them, I will definitely take video and pictures. Um, I love all of you and have an amazing week. Bye-bye.